in the truck at all times. You can't reach outside, okay? No, why? Now, if you look above you, you're going to see an animal spotting guide. This is going to help you identify those creatures we may be seeing today. Mama, 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 Keep your eyes open. All right, my friends, we are heading into a little luxury forest. Animals here have super great camouflage, so keep those eyes open. Take a look on your right oh, hand look, side. Oh, look, look, look. There look. is no copy over there. Look. No copy or really look, buddy. It's giraffes and On this side, zebras. this side, look. They have long, There's prehensile zebra. tongues to help them cross the leaves on low hanging trees and bushes. We are very shy and yeah, yeah, I want, yeah, so I want to find this ourselves. one and Mama. I want to find this one, Mama. I think he's over there. See him? You see him? Mama, I want to find one and Mama. I want to find this one. Coming up on the right hand side on this hill, I do spot a saddle built store. No, see that, Mama. So I'm going to see it, okay? With a wingspan of over nine feet. Oh my gosh, look at They actually don't know how to vocalize, but they communicate by rattling their bill. This is for the Mama. This is for the Take a look oh. on your left hand side up there. I do see a backside of black rhino. You see the rhino? The rhino can weigh around 3,000 pounds and you can charge up to 35 Mama, miles per hour. Mama, is this? Is this? Also, if you take a look on your left hand side back there, there are some bongos. Those are the red ones, but there's also some greater Mama, look, look, look. which are the lighter brown animals. Mama, is this it? Now, bongos are nicknamed the ghost of the forest because it's hardly ever seen. And female greater kudus don't have more than males do. So we saw some females. Now we will be heading into Safi River. Safi River is home to animals like Nile crocodiles and Nile hippos. Hopefully we have some good luck and see them. Crocodiles, Andy. I don't like crocodiles. You don't like crocodiles? Why not? They can eat you? So. Oh, look at the birds. Look at the beautiful birds. Mommy. Look for the crocodiles. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. Now those white birds there on the left-hand side on that island are called pink-back pelicans. Pink-back pelicans get their name because during mating season, they turn a little pink. They're also colonial nesters, meaning they nest anywhere between 20 to 500 other pairs. Okay, they might be outside. You got to look over here to find them. I want to find this one. I want to find this one, Daddy. Oh, wow. Happy, take a look on it's our like left Colorado. Side. I do spot some Nile crocodiles. Look at their crocodiles. Look at the crocodiles. They could be 16 feet long and weigh up to 500 pounds. Wow, they're big. Look at that big one down there, Andy. Look how big it is. Oh my gosh, look how big they are. Oh my gosh. Wow. Crocodiles can live to be up to 40 years old. Wow. What happened? No, there is the bread bread. What is it? Now we will be heading into the second. Now this tree on our right hand side is a baobab tree. Baobab trees are really cool because in that big old trunk of theirs, they can actually store water. This becomes handy during the drought season. Go to the right, go to the right, go to the right. <laughs> Hey, sit still. Yeah, sit still, buddy. No, I have any wilderness explorers on my truck. The truck's called Simba. Mama? 
down. I'm just trying to keep you inside the truck so you don't do something silly. No, no, no. My dog used to jump out of the truck. My friends, let's keep those voices down. We are just visitors in these wild animal homes. So you gotta be quiet here, okay? Now if we take a look on our right hand side over there, those we'll smaller animals are called spring box. We'll get a little bit closer to them. There are also some Maasai giraffes out there. But these animals closest to us are called Ankoli cattle. Ankoli cattle have long horns that can reach heights of three to four feet. They have very long horns and those horns aren't actually very heavy. But inside is a honeycomb structure that's filled with veins and vessels. It helps them stay cool during those hot days. Okay, okay, I'm gonna let you switch over again. Okay, relax. You gotta be quiet though. All the animals on this side right now. Have you take a look over there on our left hand side? I do spot a spotted hyena up there on the dam. Find this one. Now the lowest ranking female will actually outrank the highest ranking male. What? That's not right. What? Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, I know. Their calls can be heard from miles away. You see the hyena? Find the see the, there's the hyena. See him up there? He's not laughing though. So coming here on our left hand side, find these look, animals look. are called Patterson elands. Both male and female Patterson elands have horns. You see them? Though the females tend to be a little bit shorter look, than the males. Look, buddy, right here. You see them? Those Patterson elands can actually jump eight feet in the air. Quiet. Quiet there. Quiet. These tall reddish structures that we're passing right now are termite mounds. Termite mounds are made out of dumb, spit, and dirt. And they're pretty sturdy structures. Elephants actually use hey, them as She said you can't reach out the car. Those are termites. Now coming up are those beautiful Maasai giraffes. Look at the giraffes up here, Andy. Now we know they're Maasai giraffes because they have irregular rounded shape pattern to themselves. Wow. And every pattern to the giraffe is unique to themselves, just like our fingerprints are to us. Giraffes with horns, they could be six feet tall. Like, and Andy, look, look. Seen look. anywhere between look. 18 to 20 There's feet. a giraffe right in the road. See? See a giraffe in the road? Actually, in the top 10 fastest land mammals, they can reach speeds of up to 50 to 60 miles per hour. Sure up there on the right hand side is some white bearded wildebeest. Look, 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 buddy. Look, look, there's a giraffe crossing the road. Now, those horns on top of giraffe's head are actually called ostacones. He's right here. He's going to see you. He's going to say hi. Be quiet. Say it in your quiet voice. Say hi in your quiet voice. Hi. Good job, buddy. Hi. Say bye-bye, giraffe. Quietly. Quiet, giraffe. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, there's more giraffes coming giraffes to see you. Giraffes can actually reach speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. Hi, giraffe. He's sleeping there. Hi, giraffe. Hi, giraffe. Hi, giraffe. Look how beautiful it is, Andy. That's a, that's a baby one. Look at the big one here, though. He's saying hi. Look, he's saying hi. Hi. Let's please keep our voices down, guys. These are wild animals. Butterflies calling again? Yeah. She has a knack for doing that.
Bigfoot is helping. <laughs> Look, he's running. He's running, buddy. Was it the giraffe that called? Maybe Butterfly called the giraffe and asked him to move. Jams. We have to get butterfly. Off. We have to get butterfly first. What happened with butterfly? Butterfly, so we're going over here to butterfly. Butterfly. Now we are headed into well-known elephant country. Elephant. Typically, you can see elephants hanging around here, so hopefully, we have some good luck. Let's see some elephants. Want to see an elephant? in the jungle. Keep your hands in. Butterflies? You out here with the animals? Yeah. He's hiding somewhere. Hi, butterflies hiding? Yeah. Um, butterflies is hiding somewhere here. There's some more favorite bark trees. Favorite bark trees are actually illegal yeah. slime. That's how they are. I think so. I don't see, we didn't see any elephants though, buddy. No, my elephants. We fight the Oh, there's rhinoceros. Now coming up on yeah, our left hand side is those beautiful white rhinos. Look, 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 look. Right, rhinos are the largest of the rhino species. Weighing anywhere between 4,000 to 5,000 pounds. Look how big pounds. they are. Look how big they are. Yeah. We've noticed that mud ball out there. White rhinos like to roll around in the mud to get coated, and this is a natural sunscreen for them. It also Mama? helps keep pests off them. Mama? Mama, I don't know. I see. Look at the rhino. Look at the rhino. Mama, Mama. Butterflies hiding inside. Butterflies hiding somewhere. Butterfly. You need your binoculars to find her. Yeah, we can find her in the truck. If you had your binoculars, we could have found the elephant too. Yeah, yeah. What? Let's find. Let's find your mom. Yeah, yeah. Let's find butterfly. Let's find butterfly. Now these rocks up ahead are called Kopi rocks. 
predator animals like to stay on these rocks. They stay up high to have an outlet for their prey. Careful, careful. There might be some lions here. We here? Not just yet. If you look on your left hand side, there is a lion up there. There's the two rocks. lions, look, buddy. You see the lions? Look up there on the rocks, the lions. See them up there? Now, female lions will actually hunt for the prey. The male will stay back to protect the rest of the prey. That's what they do do their hunting at night. This is because they have six times better night vision than humans do. And with the extra treading on their paws, it helps them have a silent look approach. Look at the lion, look at the lion. Look, look up, up high. The lion spend anywhere between picture? 16 no, no, no. and 20 hours Stop a day just frosting. You're quiet, okay? No, we're past the lions now. You're okay. Yeah, you're okay. You can come out. You can come out. It's okay. Come on. Come on. You got to sit in your seat, buddy. You're okay. You got to sit in the seat. You got to sit in the seat. Come on. You have to. She says it's part of the rules. We don't make the rules up here. You got to sit in the seat, okay? Come on. Come on. Come on. You got to sit down. There you go. Good job. Good job. We're almost done. The ride's almost over. If we take a look on our right-hand side, clear back there, there are some bontabak. This backside's kind of busyness. There's also one up here by the tree. Now, Bontabak can only be seen in reserves nowadays because they are still in the wild. This is due to overhunting. When the sun shined on their coat, it turned a little purple color. And so people are hunting them for their coats. Both male and female Bontabaks have horns. Buddy boy. First we have to find your mom, Yayan. I don't know. She might have to sleep out here tonight. Find your mom, Yayan. Maybe so, find her. So you think maybe she has to sleep out there tonight? Say bye, butterfly. Good night, butterfly. Bye, butterfly. She might sleep out by the lions tonight. No. Thank you for raising my lobby. I'm glad to serve yeah, with you today. Yeah, well, if you want to help any of the beautiful creatures you saw out in the wild, you can donate to the Disney Conference.